Yes. Do you use it for autoimmune uh, disease? Yes. Allergies. Is a uh, part of the protocol or not always? Or? For autoimmune, it's part of the protocol. Okay. Not necessarily for allergies. Okay. Uh, I remember taking some pancreatin and I felt, uh, so I didn't feel comfortable, like I felt some pain from it. Do you just stay with it and just, you know? Well, pancreatin is not quite the same thing, but the answer is, you, you, if you're having pain, first you'd step back and say, let's stop and let's take a lower dose and see what's really right. That's how I would approach it. You know, I mentioned five, three times a day is max. Sometimes people just need to take one, three times a day or one, twice a day, something like that. Is yes. it something that you use also in diabetics? I use it in diabetics because it has an anti-scarring quality. In diabetes, you have both inflammation and scarring. And that scarring is particularly the, uh, the duct coming out of the, the beta cells of the pancreas scars down and the insulin can't get out. So I, I use it that way. Okay. To undo the scarring so there's more flow of insulin. Regarding enzymes, when we prepare some food, uh, sometimes to make, for example, almond yogurt, or what kind of enzymes do you recommend for, for this for? if we want to break, uh, some recipes are uh, with uh, enzymes, but I don't think it's, I can use this enzyme. No, I wouldn't use this. You could, but it's very expensive. No. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, do you do also recommend this kind of uh, practi practices with food? Not really. You know, it's, it's kind of really not needed. You know, generally digestive enzymes are good to take after meal, and most we're switching a little bit from proteolytic enzymes. The advantage of digestive enzymes is, particularly with age, after the age of 40, people's production of digestive enzymes is a lot less. And therefore, you're not getting the full nutrition. So with age, you really have less hydrochloric acid and uh, you know less of your proteolytic, less of your amylase, and so forth. So I recommend taking your enzymes at the end of the meal, which is when your enzymes are generally secreted, uh, and taking the hydrochloric, which is uh, not exactly an enzyme, but it's what's also secreted, and, and then a full enzyme. The one we have here is Beautyzyme, which maybe is best, maybe really best for the live food because it's very high in lipase. And most of the other formulations aren't as uh, uh, lipase strong. I'm actually wanting to get something better than the, uh, the Beautyzymes, um, but I haven't quite seen it yet and I may just end up trying to formulate it. Um, but you want a certain amount of amylase, that's a really important thing. You're changing beauty enzymes now, really? I didn't say that. I'm looking <laughs> to do that. A variety of reasons why that is. But the main thing beauty enzymes has, it's way higher than lipase than any other enzyme combination there which is good for life, for people eating lots of nuts and seeds and so forth. And you can take both of them, like the proteolytic morning and evening, and the other, the beauty and science. That's, that's really f for eating. Yes. They're two separate, totally separate concepts. Yes, I understand. Yeah. It's part of the program. Yeah. Generally speaking, and I can't tell you it's really true anymore. In the live food movement, Dr. Howe 
was saying we have a limited amount of enzymes. We need enzymes for our life force. And therefore, if we take digestive enzymes, we preserve our enzyme systems and therefore live longer. Well, I don't agree with that. And Victor Kolvinskis, who's like, the, his big thing is enzymes, he worked with Dr. Hall, also doesn't agree with that. We, got, we talked about this, and it's like, we believe that uh, your body's, uh, you know, if you're properly nourished, you're always going to be producing enzymes. And the idea is just to stimulate your production of enzymes. Uh, and that's a key, and that's why we, we, you know, do certain things. And being healthy stimulates a good, healthy uh, enzyme production. There's no in, how is kind of saying, well, you know, you have X amount of enzymes, and when you're in that, that's it, you're out of enzymes. And neither of us believe that's true. We believe the body has a kind of infinite ability to do all that it needs to do.